Hi everyone, in this video we're going to prove that A intersection with A union B is equal to A. So before we do the proof, a couple things need to be noted. So the first is the definition of union. So if you have A union B, recall that this is the set of all X such that X is in A or X is in B. So the or here uh, is an inclusive or, right? That's how or in mathematics works. What that means is if x is in A, then this statement is true. If x is in B, then this statement is true. If x is in both A and B, then this statement is also true. So this statement will be true if either x is in A, x is in B, or x is in both. All right, and then intersection, A intersection B, this is the set of all x such that x is in A and x is in B. So for this statement to be true, x in A and x in B, that means x has to be in both A and B. Okay, so to do this proof, we're gonna use something called double inclusion. So the method of double inclusion requires that we show that each of these sets is a subset of each other. So let's do the first step. So I'll put a little symbol here, and this will indicate the direction we're going. So the claim here, is that A intersected with A union B is a subset of A. So we have to show all of the elements in this set are contained in this set. That's what subset means. So everything that's in the set on the left is also a member of the set on the right. So to do that, we start always by taking an element of the set on the left. So we'll say suppose X is an element in A intersect A union B. And the goal is to show that X is an element in A. Okay, so all we have to end up with is X is in A. So with goal is to somehow end up with X in A. Once we have that, we've shown that every element in this set is also in A. Okay, so what does it mean for A to be in the intersection? So this means this means, well, this means that x is an A, and, right, the intersection gives us the and, x is an A union B. Right, because if x is in the intersection of these two sets, it means it's in the first set, and it means it's in the second set. Well, notice we have what we wanted here. We have x and A. So we have x and A and x and A union B. So in order to emphasize what we want, we say something like, in particular, x is an a, x is an a. So we started with an element in a intersection a union b and we showed it was an a. So we can assume this holds for all elements. We didn't say anything about x, uh, so it could be any element. So this shows one direction. This shows that a intersected with a union b is a subset of A. Now sometimes people say a little bit more here. They'll say something like suppose X in this set and you'll say something like is arbitrary. Okay and then since it's arbitrary that means it can be any number so this holds for any number so therefore every element in this set is also in this set so this set here is a subset of A. Now we have to go the other way. We have to show that every element in A is a subset of the other set. So let's go this direction. And so the claim this time is that A is a subset of A intersect A union B. Okay? So we start by taking an element in A. Okay? So take, so suppose X is in A. And now we have to show it's an A and it's an A union B. So we already have that it's an A, right? We just have to show that it's an A union B. Well then, well recall that an element is in the union if it's an A, if it's in B, or if it's in both. Well, it's already an A, so it's certainly an A union B, right? That's what it means for, remember, X is an A union B. This means that X is an A or x is in b. 
So this condition is satisfied as long as one of these is true. Well, this one is true. X is an A, so it's certainly an A or B. So now we have two conditions. Let me switch the colors here. We have X and A, and we have X and A union B. So let's emphasize that. So then we have X and A, and X and A union B, right? Because we have both statements, so we can put the and there. Well, what does and mean? And means intersection. So this means that X is an A, intersected with a union B. So a little bit tricky, uh, right? So because you start with just this and you somehow have to magically produce the union. So just use the definition of union, right? So uh, and then we have that it's in both. So we took an element in A and we showed it's in here. So this shows this shows that A is a subset of A intersected with a union B. So we showed two conditions. We showed that the first subset is a subset of the other one, so this one here. And then we showed this one. So they are subsets of each other. Therefore, by the method of double inclusion, that's what this is called, uh, they are equal. So thus, we have that A is equal to A intersected A union B. I wrote it backwards. I believe the original question um, had this piece on the left. Let me scroll up and look. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter though. It's the same thing. So no big deal. So that completes the proof. And I'll put a little box here with the X to indicate that. So when you're showing two sets are equal, you just show that they are subsets of each other. I hope this proof uh, has been helpful. It's uh, kind of went into a little bit of extra detail. So hopefully uh, it made sense. That's it.